Hello, welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy, and I will be doing a tarot reading for the Leo Collective. Right now, it will be a general reading. And we are just going to find out what's going on with my lovely lions. What is going on with these lions lately? All the Leo people I know, y'all been going a little... Mm. And I know a few Leos. Y'all been going through it. I mean, I got a Leo freaking moon, so I'm there. I'm going through it with you. <laughs> Emotionally. Anyway, what's going on with these Leo babies? What's going on with the Leos? Oh, what are we? Mm. You got some feminine energy here. Mm. Childhood. Put your ten of cards in the corner. Mm. Okay. Do, however, have a choice to make, and it is a very, very big one because justice is here. We've got the Ten of Cups, we got justice, we got Six of Cups indicating that there is some childhood issue, trauma, revisiting of the past. that was in your past like that is that is something that you already gone through and I think you're probably actively healing from. because it's looking like your goal is justice so whatever happened to you you're seeking justice and you're gonna get it, it looks like. Yeah. All right, what's going on with the Six of Cups here? What is up with the Six of Cups? Yeah. Of course. You're right there. You're ending cycles. You're currently closing out so much. You were closing out toxic, negative cycles. <coughs> and that seems about right for my Leos. Really. that That's about right for my Leos. Because listen, you can't expect things to get better if you are not willing to make the change and it looks like you were making changes so what's going on with the seven of the swords what you probably always need to know Slow down. Slow down. Hmm. Slow down. Justice. What is justice here? <clears throat> Sorry about my heater in the background. If that annoys you, uh, my room is cold. I'm not trying to catch pneumonia. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry if it annoys you, but I'm not trying to catch pneumonia. And then be gone for another God knows how long because I'm sick again. That is why there's so many lapses in videos. Oh, well, okay. Um. You are fighting with yourself 
over a perceived addiction. Wow. It's not even, and I can't say that it's not a real addiction because I am not clinically able to do that right now. And anything that you are uncontrollably um, predisposition to do, like you can't control yourself and stop yourself from doing it, could be an addiction. But I'm sorry, Ten Cups. Thank you. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> Yeah. Your Ten of Cups is going to come when you realize your intuitive strength. That you are stronger than you think. Than other people give you credit for. You have so much going on. In your life. In your environment. You're closing out toxic negative cycles. You're closing out horrifying, yeah, horrifying childhood events. And you're becoming the person that you are designing yourself to be. Yeah. You're just beginning you're just beginning a fool's journey. Yep. You're just beginning a fool's journey. You're at the very beginning. And you are learning. You're coming to realizations. You're probably currently going through a spiritual awakening. That's what I am pretty much looking at right now. Someone going through a deep spiritual awakening that is going to lead them to love themselves. To honor themselves. To cherish themselves. To put themselves first. Because listen, I'm going to tell you, and you probably heard this a thousand freaking times, Leo. You cannot pour from an empty cup. You can't give people what you don't have. You can't. Stop trying to. And when you stop trying to give people what you don't have, and then you start giving what you do have to yourself... You are going to become aware of the situations that people um, people have been putting you through. Yeah. Once you do that and you become aware of the situations that these people have been putting you through, man, I feel bad for them. Because justice is coming and it's coming in hot and heavy. There is no doubt about that. I feel bad for the people that have wronged you, Leo. Whoever did that, man, they should have never done it. They should have never done it. Should have never done it. But Leo, you got some power here. The Leo that I'm talking to got some power. Yeah, see? Ten of Cups again. what I tell you? And that's your inner world. That's that's you. So once you start giving yourself the Ten of Cups, your Ten of Cups shows up. Because you're already giving it to yourself. All that love, all that emotion, all that power, all that energy is going towards you. Sorry, my back is itching. Oh, so bad. Sorry. It was itching. Um, once you started giving that to yourself... It started showing up around you for you. It's like your manifestations were coming in all at once. They're going to go bam, 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 bam. Love money, prosperity, new career, new job, new house, new, new amazing love that, that treats you exactly how you should be treated with kindness, respect, affection, care, all of it. And you're going to do that by essentially going through a spiritual awakening and opening up to your sixth 
your your sixth sense and listening to your intuition and following your following your heart yeah follow follow your heart follow your heart leo 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 you weren't following your heart for a long time leo buddy your little lion self was hiding but here here you are that strength that lion that leo perseverance you were hiding but i don't see you hiding for much longer because whatever yup you're not hiding for much longer at all you're gonna be taking action left and right. You're gonna be like, you're gonna be unstoppable. And when all of this starts coming in for you, all this abundance, all this wealth, all this health, all this amazing freaking stuff. <coughs> all right. Try not to be overwhelmed. Try to take time for you. Like I said, pour into you give to you because it's all going to still be there when you have enough to give to the world once you have enough and you'll know once you have enough love abundance health wealth in yourself in you and it's overflowing you can then share it with the people in your life and when you can share it with the people in your life more abundance, health, wealth, love. Like I said, new car, new house, new dog, new life, new life. Whatever you're calling in, whatever you're manifesting is going to be, it's just going to be like one right after another. They might all come at the same time. It might be one major thing that happens that brings all of this new stuff to you. Unfortunately, you can't see it when you're in it. You can't see it when you are in it. Develop healthy routines. What was I saying? Poor to you. Your mystical abilities flourish when your earthly life is orderly, practical, and predictable. Healthy daily, weekly, monthly, and seasonal routines calm your sensitive nervous system, making it easier to tune into your intuition, which healthy eating, exercising, resting, playing, spiritual relationships, and work routines can lean into, update, or adjust and support your sixth sense. What did I tell you? You're opening up to your sixth sense. And that is how you're going to do it. On that note, if you caught my vibe, please subscribe, like, share, comment, do your thing. I appreciate you. I love you. And peace.